Welcome to the Black A History Channel. Please share this video and subscribe to this channel for more captivating content. African history is just full of instances of men loving and marrying other men, of men marrying trans women or gender nonconforming people all across the continent prior to European and Arab colonization. Despite the homophobic laws and rhetoric of modern religious conservatives, we know from history that many indigenous African people groups celebrated marriages and unions between men in many different ways, in many different ethnic groups, with many different traditions. Here's a quick list of five African tribes or ethnic groups that performed and celebrated marriages between men. The Azande people in Central Africa. The Azande people are a Central African ethnic group that has a well-recorded history of embracing gay relationships and marriages between warriors. The Azande are a large, expansive people, many of whom live primarily in the Central African Republic, Democratic Republic of Congo, and South Sudan. In their people's history, the Azande warriors had female wives that lived in the village, but many also had male wives. They would take on expeditions and battles when away from the village. The marriages between warriors were formal, and a bride price was paid to the younger warrior's family for the marriage, such as spears and livestock. Anthropologist E. E. Evans Pritchard recorded that in the 1920s, male Zande warriors between 20 and 30 years of age routinely took on young male lovers between the ages of 12 and 20 who participated in sex with their older partners while also performing household duties. Once the young partner was considered old enough to become a warrior themselves, he received weapons and the relationship ended, with the older partner taking a female wife instead of the boy wife. The marriages died out by the mid-19th century due to increasing European colonial influence, but the elders Evans Pritchard spoke to were still sufficiently aware of it to give a fairly detailed description. The Berbers of North Africa the Siwi people are mostly from the Berber ethnic group, an ancient North African people who have existed and migrated throughout Northern African kingdoms for thousands of years. The Siwi Berbers have been there for roughly 12,000 years and have astounded historians and anthropologists with their open tradition of celebrating marriages between men. There are numerous accounts from historians and anthropologists who lived amongst the Siwi people in the early 1900s who marveled in awe at the openness of these gay marriages and the open gay affection they had with each other in this town. The German Egyptologist George Steindorf is quoted in the year 1900 writing, The feast of marrying a boy who was celebrated with great pomp, and the money paid for a boy sometimes amounted to 15 pounds, while the money paid for a woman was a little over one pound. End quote. In 1917, Mahmoud Mohammed Abd Allah, a museum curator, would write, Siwan men could take up to four wives, but Siwan customs allow a man but one boy to whom he is bound by a stringent code of obligations, end quote. In 1937, anthropologist Walter Klein would write, All normal Siwan men and boys practice sodomy. Among themselves, the natives are not ashamed of this. They talk about it as openly as they talk about love of women, and many, if most of their fights, arise from homosexual competition. Prominent men lend their sons to each other. All Siwans know the matings which have taken place among their sheiks and their sheik's sons. End quote. The Zulu of South Africa the Zulu is another powerful world-renowned ethnic group that also has a history of warriors who were allowed to have a husband or boy wife on military expeditions. The Zulu are one of the most renowned ethnic groups on the African continent, especially in their homeland, South Africa, and neighboring countries like Zimbabwe and Lesotho. Their military prowess was world-renowned even amongst the European colonials, so it's impressive that Zulu warriors could marry each other or be in celebrated relationships with one another. A South African term, anbonga, is meant to describe a particular kind of relationship for Zulu men, and it denotes a physical relationship between Zulu warriors, particularly coitus. The Zulus have several words to describe intimate relationships with men, including the name of warrior boy wives called Izinkochone, meaning warrior lovers. Like the Azande, the Izin Konshone would be paired together in times of war, sharing duties and sexual relationships. Izin Konshone in the South African Zulu dialect can mean boy wife. Tira people of Sudan. Though Sudan is not a hospitable place for homosexual relationships and identities today, 
We have a not too distant history of flourishing gay relationships and even marriages in several of the ethnic groups that lived there nearly a hundred years ago. The Tira people are a Sudanese ethnic group from the Nuba Mountains areas of southern Sudan in the Kordofan state. According to Wikipedia, Siegfried Frederick Nadel, a British anthropologist and ethnologist, wrote about the Nuba tribes in Sudan in the late 1930s. He noted that among the Otoro, a special transgender role existed whereby men dressed and lived as women. He reported that trans women and homosexuality also existed amongst the Moru, Nyima, and the Tira people, and reported marriages of men and trans women for the bride price of one goat. Natal observed that companionship between men was a big part of the Tira people's culture, where homosexual activity was common. Their, their ideas of trans identities and masculinity and femininity were in some ways different from modern concepts. They had gay and trans identities in the Korongo, Mesekan, and Tira people. Nadel also reported a common reluctance among men to abandon the pleasures of all male camp life for their fetters of permanent settlement. In other words, the settlements with women and heterosexual pairings. Nzema people of Ghana. The Nzema people that have resided in Ghana and the Ivory Coast for hundreds of years are a distinct ethnic group that has a history of gay unions or marriages between men in their culture. Though these unions do not persist in their culture today due to a drastic change in religious beliefs during the British colonization, these marriages are recorded in history by the Nzema's oral traditions and British historical records. What many may not know about the Nzema people is that it's well documented that the Nzema people at one time practiced agyale, or friendship marriages between men. This tradition would allow older men and younger men to marry, usually with an age difference of 10 years between them. The men would even hold most of the same marriage rights within their community that heterosexual partners held, and there was even a bride price that had to be paid by the older gentleman to the younger man's parents for the marriage. This is yet another of countless examples we've covered on this channel of our West African predecessors recognizing homosexual unions prior to the restrictions of colonization under British rule. Homosexual acts in Ghana were criminalized under the Offenses Against the Person Act of 1861, but this harmful law may not have been implemented until 1892. However, it's still beautiful to know that at one point in time, our gay unions were treasured parts of West African culture.